My name is Amy Erundanga, uh, running Miss Coach Kenya as an organization that started way back in 2001. From that time, it was, you know, youth coming together just to realize what can we do within this community. So I started from a gas emancipation point of view because of the high crime and rape cases that were arrived then. There was one experience that was really sad. Young girls, you know, being kidnapped from their home and people celebrating millennium. That case, when now young people are saying, no, enough is enough. So when six women were raped and one elderly woman was found dead and a bottle inserted in her vagina. So it was really an offensive crime that led to a total change and a turnaround of young people trying to, you know, just say, no, enough is enough. Most of the community members would just hide in their, in their homes, in homes that they don't want to be, again, seen as perpetrators or, you know, because they'll be, at, at the end of the day, they'll be liquidated by the mafias or the gangs. It was not appealing for young people like, you know, to offend the community that they live in. But no one, you know, dare to talk about the issues. And then that's when Miss Scotch had to start from somewhere where, how do we engage the community? How do we engage the people here not to fear? And also to protect the girls and women in this community. How do we disarm young people because they were armed? But again, that was again another tall order. Even if the chiefs were there, they had no control. So there was no formal way of like saying there's a, there's a government in place. I was in Korogosho, living in Korogosho, in Grogon, Grogon, in the most fierce areas that were you know, known then by young people. So I said, okay, fine, how do I help this community and how do I come up? When we thought of bringing this community together, it was a way to solving our problems and getting solutions, which for sure it has worked at some point, and it has proven to work if you mobilize action together. Like as a community, you put your heads together and say, oh, this is what we think we can do. Can this be achieved? Yes. If it cannot be achieved, what else can we think of doing differently and how can we enhance that support from, you know, different actors? From our end, as Ms. Scott, we tried, you know, like, how do we start engaging the community, understand the governance issues, how to fight for their own rights, how to, you know, fight for education for girls to go back to school? Because now, what we were faced with was Girls dropping from school, teenage pregnancies, still there's crime. But how do you turn these negative energies into positive energy? We started with the beauty pageant that was to bring people together and share and spread information. But again, it was received with mixed reactions because people didn't understand. Now this youth you know, members of the community will say, how do we understand that they are, they are the real people to change this community? And even gathering in itself was really a problem because now the security and forces, the law enforcers will say, if you're, you're meeting together in, in a group of three or five, you'll be mistaken for a gang. They joined Miss Coach in 2005 after modeling as a beauty pageant contestant in 2005. Though with the challenges, I said, okay, fine. Let me just put my head high again and look into this community. What can I do? What can we do together? Miss Scotch was registered again as a CBO till 2004, just to now to work with the community and also the chiefs in place to understand. The trust started coming in. No, you build trust slowly. It doesn't come easy. In 2004, that's now when we started realizing organizations coming in. We had like now start sensitizing the community on all areas. 
And then 2004, 2005, Pamoja uh, Transaki Jamii Kenya Human Rights Commission became like part and parcel of our work engaging with the community and helping young people to realize their potentials. We started so many activities around the youth and they were, it was supported largely by uh, Pamoja and Kimani being the lead in terms of trying to reach out with the youth. Actually, Ms. Scotch now went into four thematic areas to serve the community. One, education and mentorship. Then sexual reproductive health and rights became another pertinent issue. How do we address the issues of sexual reproductive health? How do we address issues of uh, teenage pregnancies? Then we had uh, governance and human rights and leadership. Then how do we help the community understand their rights, their governance issues? How do we hold accountable of our leaders? Then number four, it was talents and uh, entertainment. How do we help young people? Okay, they have talents, but how do we make them entrepreneurs?